is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. I shall return on Wednesday with the premiere of a new game. SpongeBob The Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, which is the newly remade, remastered, whatever the hell it is, version of the SpongeBob game. In celebration of this, tonight and tomorrow, my wife and I are going to watch some SpongeBob. Lol. I'm a mature adult, and I'm not a children's entertainer. Yeah, a 38-year-old man's gonna be watching SpongeBob. Wow, that's some mature content for you, boys. Yes, I'm gonna actually be watching some SpongeBob to try to immerse myself in the SpongeBob universe for this playthrough. Um, so I guess we'll see uh, what happens, but uh, it should be fun. Uh, come uh, Wednesday, something different. This is a game you guys have asked me to play for years. Um. And this is a game that you guys have uh, voted for. You nominated and voted on this game to be played as a viewer's choice playthrough. So, awesome. I cannot wait. Phil has indoctrinated children across of YouTube to believe and th everything he says and does is true. And he has indoctrinated them to send him money. I am an evil, dirty heinous scammer who steals money from little children. <laughs> the world is very, very uh, uncertain place these days. I'm so happy that, listen, I'm in a loving relationship with my wife. We have a great life together. And I'm so happy to have the life that I have. Seriously, you guys have no idea. I almost feel bad oh, for him. Because I'm super happy. I am. I'm super happy with how things are. And with... The 11 plus years that I've been a content creator, I can tell you guys I never once went to a convention, never once had anything that happened, you know, like this crap, where you're going to hear stories of Me Too movement cancellations and shit. You know, it's not going to happen. That stuff just never happened. I was always, always all about making video content and paying attention to, to, to basically behaving. I don't think, you know, I, I wasn't drinking and doing stupid shit at these things. Um, you're, that stuff's never going to happen with me. Thank God that I was smart enough to not ever get so full of myself you know was i full of myself in regards to my content fuck yes i thought my content was was amazing and i was the best content creator and everyone else sucked compared to me i'll be honest i was cocky as shit that's how i was that was my attitude right <laughs> unbelievable but when it came to everything else i told you guys this i always felt always felt um that i was someone who was the same as everybody else i'm just a joe average gamer i'm not special I'm not better than you. I feel that we should all get games on the same day. No one should get advanced copies of games. I feel that when I play games, I want to give you very honest reactions to what I'm doing so that you feel like you're just kind of playing the game along with me. That's how I always... I never once thought that I was better than anybody else. I had to lie about things because I had to protect my family, right? I always thought the whole YouTube thing was a joke. I did. I thought the whole thing was like the fact that... Um, the whole fact that... People get so up their own ass about themselves. Like, wow, because I'm popular on YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, you know, my shit doesn't stink and I'm a celebrity. And I'm now going to use that clout to go out there and take advantage and do these things. You know, that's insane to me. Like, I never once in a million bajillion fucking years thought anything like that at all. At all. And I'm happy for that. I'm happy that I was, you know, I've made a lot of dumb mistakes. But all those dumb mistakes were right here on YouTube and on Twitch. You know, they were public-facing stupid shit that I said and did in content on video. There was never any behind-the-scenes bullshit. Thank God. Thank God. You know, my mistakes, you know what? And you know what? Here's the thing. A lot of people say Phil's uncancelable, right? Now that's a running meme, it's a joke. That basically I've been through the ringer with all the shit that's happened to me over the years. But I'm still here, I'm still able to have a, a, a following... I still am, you know, successful as a content creator and a streamer, right? And basically, people are like, no matter what happens to Phil, he's still fine, you know? And the truth of the matter is, it's because look at the things that I do. Have I done insanely stupid shit? Absolutely I have. But it's all public facing. My embarrassments are public immediately because they're all happened right here live on a stream or live in a video, you know, or in a video that I upload to YouTube and 
Once it's out there, it's out there. There's no point in, like, hiding things you fucked up doing. Oh, splashed, and then it got on my hand. So my hand's, like, sneaky. Right? I, my, my opinion is that you fuck up, you fuck up. It's public. And the thing is, a lot of the times, things that you consider fuck-ups today, you might not have considered when they happen. You know, 10 years ago, some of the humor and, and, and terminology and things that I did today is completely irreverent and not warranted and, and very insulting. And 10 years ago, it was funny, right? But that's what I mean. Like, because everything I've ever done has been public, I feel that, that maybe that's why I'm kind of like a guy who's just here and no one's really going to say, oh, Phil did this or Phil did that. And he can't. It's all been public forever, you know? There's no secret, super secret behind doors allegations <laughs> that are going to fucking surface. Now, listen, there's tons of idiots out there, tons, who make shit up about me on a daily basis. They'll make up conspiracy theories. They'll make up this shit. And the thing is, it doesn't affect me. You want to know why? Because it's, it's horse shit. There's no evidence of any of it because it's all untrue. It's just shit that they make up to try to make me look bad. But you'll, there's not going to be any ridiculous stories coming out of shit. Oh, my God, did you hear this super fucked up secret thing that Phil did years ago at PAX? No. I've never even been to PAX. The conventions I went to, I was filming the whole fucking time. You know, that's that was always me. 100%. Um, I was never involved in any kind of this 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 party culture shit um, where things are going to come out and, and bite me in the ass. All right? So, that being said, um, this whole situation with Angry Joe is like, wow, it's fucked up. Because you got to wonder, this is a guy who's been a very long-time content creator. All right, he's well, he's respected as a content creator. As a person, I can't say a word. I don't know anything about him as a person, but I know as a content creator, this guy's been around as long as me. In fact, I believe he was making videos before me. Um, and this is a guy who, you know, something like this could actually seriously hurt him if people take it seriously. And sadly, in the modern day, this cancel culture shit is just believe everything with no corroborating evidence, you know? So you, you read this, 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 accusation by this person and it's like okay now if we get other people who come out and they say this is true i remember joe was there and he, the purse was taken and the phone was taken this person was not allowed to leave he was pushing this person against a wall and doing all this fucked up stuff um you see what i mean um then if that's corroborating evidence is true fine but in the modern day i don't think we can be canceling people immediately because you get one story one perspective and Joe, of course, has already defended this. He says, no, no, he says, this is ridiculous. Like, this is a person who I thought, you know, was interested in me. I was trying to be nice to them. And what they've done is they've taken things either out of context or actually lied. And like, no, I never touched this person. I never pushed this person. I never stole a purse. I never did any of that shit. That's completely made up to try to push a narrative that didn't happen. Threw his fiance under the bus and turned her private medical issue into a drama strain. Didn't happen. Demanded she never go to a hospital again. Instead that they give her a pill and leave her where they found her. Didn't happen. Um, lied about money issues for a year, nonstop begging for cash while flying a girl out, uh, to see him, didn't happen. Used tax donations to, to move the woman in with him, didn't happen. Used tax donations to marry the woman, didn't happen. Stole fan donations that went towards the Project 7 reboot, didn't happen. Refused to pay friends for the work they did, only used to make money and, uh, you only used them to make money and make more off of dead friends until he lost them all, didn't happen. Uh, wants to hit an 11-year-old girl. Didn't happen. Um, groomed two fangirls and used them for sex and extra money. Oh. Didn't happen. But the one that I really didn't say yet. This is the one that gets, that gets me the most. Everyone's a paid shill tweet. Okay? Apparently, last year I put out a tweet... That's it. Everyone's a paid shell. That's not what happened. And the truth of the matter is, who knows what the truth is? Because they were drunk. And that's the problem with all these situations. You know, how would you even know what the truth was? Um, because they were drunk. Right? So, it's just fucked up. You know? It's fucked up. This whole situation is fucked up. And I actually, I feel bad for Joe. Because, you know, now he's going to go through the ringer to try to figure this shit out. I'm sure... If you're going to get seriously accused by someone like that, I wonder if he's going to try to get legal counsel or whatever, you know, or he's just going to write it out. I have no idea, but pretty bad, you know, pretty bad situation. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the, the truth of the matter comes out. But to me, seriously, like when I think back 
I'm like, damn, I dodged a huge bullet. Seriously. And who would have known? Like, a lot of people always yelled at me that I didn't attend conventions more and I didn't do this with my fans. I didn't do that. And I'm like, I dodged a giant fucking bullet. Oh, the stream's all about me. It's all about me. I'm all about myself. I seriously did. Like, I matrix dodged the bullet. Slow mo bullet time. Boom, 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 boom. By not involving myself in any of that kind of shit. You know? Really. I'm, I, and of course, it's, it's luck. <laughs> like most things in my history as a content creator, it's luck. That, you know, because I didn't purposely say, oh, I, I foresee that in 10 years, things that I do now will come back to bite me in my ass. Of course not. But I was just so hyper-focused on work, work, work. I really was. I was hyper-focused on work, 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 work. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Oh, money, 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 money. Money, money, money. That when I went to these conventions and things, that's all I cared about. I want to film and enjoy and do panels and meet fans. And that was it. Like, that was the sole focus. There was no crazy partying and stupid shit that happened where anyone could misconstrue anything as anything. And that's a good thing. Oh, look, an idiot. Gangsta Lean says, What do you make everything about yourself? Because that's what you do when you're a streamer, you idiot. Oh, yeah, it's salt, 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 salt. It's, oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. You relate things to your own life and personal experience. It's not making it about yourself, it's adding your own personal take from your own experience. You dumb shit. <laughs> I mean, how dumb can you be? You're attending someone's stream, they're not gonna add any of their own commentary or experience to any situation whatsoever. It's just gonna be completely unrelated news. Okay, there you go. Boy, you're stupid. Dumb fox. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. By eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>